The following video may contain content parents may find unsuitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it's Hunger again, and it's time for more Pokemon Sword version. So let's get started. Okay, now I say a wild Poke Kid appeared. What are you, are you trying to remember your lines? Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Alright, so... Oh, look at this. This is apparently the uh, pre-evolution for Alcremie. So, I have no idea what type it is. I'm guessing it's probably Fairy. But anyway, I did mention at the end of the last episode that I have uh, some trainers to battle here on Route 4 uh, before I go in and check out the gym, so we're going to do that. Come here. I will get you. I really want one of these, though, the Milsery. And they just got fossil Pokemon out here chilling. Like, there's, there's freaking Ammonite just chilling on this roof. So much for being extinct, right? Can we, can we talk about the, how these things are just not extinct? Oh, it's already over? <laughs> I dress like this because I want to understand the feelings of Pokemon. All right, I'm just going to have to capture you and take you home with me then. <laughs> oh, are these... Oh, I thought these were Ammonite. They're, they're apparently Diglett. Never mind. I mean, Eevee, I'm full of possibilities. I, I guess I'm going to have to catch you and take you home with me. You're just too precious. Poke Kid Mia. Catch all the Poke Kids. <laughs> all right, come here. Not baby doll eyes. Oh no. I'm an Eevee. I'm downhearted because I lost. <laughs> Look at the... <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> she, is she, like, shaking her butt so the tail on the costume wags? <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm an Eevee. When I grow up, what type of Pokemon do you think I'll evolve into? I have no idea what kind of fursuit you're gonna wear when you're older. <laughs> Appearing with a Pika! <laughs> Poke Kid Riss. I guess this is what you have to do to fit in in this area. To run around dressed like a Pikachu or an Eevee. Alright. There's a Joltik there. I don't know why there's a Joltik there. Dresses like a Pikachu, uses a Joltik in battle, I guess. I don't know. Grubbin. It's just too easy. I just keep using fire moves and all the bugs die. Bop! <laughs> Alright, so much for that. I'm so downhearted. They, they get so downhearted when I defeat them. Oh my gosh. I'll go take a kip and rest comfortably inside a Pokeball. Yeah. Pin Missile! Oh, rare candy. Very nice. Okay, the Pokemon in this area are unnecessarily aggressive. Sharp Beak. Okay. Leaf Stone. Okay. A treasure lies buried somewhere in Turfield. According to this treasure map, the trick to finding the treasure lies in the Standing Stones. See yourself three standing stones with grass before the other ones. Use that use well that strength and find then the strength of its strength in the end. 
Dally not if you've a mind to find what time has left behind. That's what it says, but I can't make heads or tails of it. I want to stick my head into the photo stand in when I grow taller. I guess I'm not tall enough for the other one. Stand back here. What up? Hero. Fresh water. Three X attacks. Okay, just randomly finding X attacks out here in the middle of nowhere. What's this? Something's carved into the stone. It says poison. Sorry, but Team Yell caused quite the kerfuffle, and now the bridge is in a bit of a state. We'll have things cleaned quick as we can be done, but could you give us some time? What's this? Something carved into the stone. It says fire. Found an Everstone? Is that the treasure I was supposed to be finding? What's this? A better treasure. Brutal swing. Hey. Nice, powerful TM. What's this? Something's carved into the stone. It says dark. If you hold flowers, Pokemon will gather around you. That's an interest. That would be an interesting mechanic, actually. I wonder if they were going to add that and then just got stuffed for time. What's this? Something star carved into the stone. It says grass. Max revive. All right. Well, I don't know if we found the treasure of turf field or not, but uh, oh look, it's Hop. <laughs> Take a look at this, Hunger. The grass gym badge. I got it first try. I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling Wulu. I've had plenty of practice at it after all. I'm sure you can win this one too. After all, you are my rival. Wrangling Wulu? Oh no. You can challenge the gyms as many times as you want. I guess it's to test your unbreakable will. Hey, it's Ball Guy! You've returned. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the Ball Guy. As a sign of our friendship, let me give you a wonderful Pokeball. Hey, oh look, it's he gave me a friend ball. Ball Guy is my hero, okay? Oh, I'm so glad Ball Guy is here. If you catch a Pokemon with the friend ball, it'll become friendly with you in no time. Just like how we became friends. Oh, mate. Ball guys are just full of surprises, don't you think? I mean, Pokeballs are full of surprises. What did I say? So apparently you can't face the gym leader without completing the gym mission first. I wonder what we'll have to do. I'm pretty good at dancing. I heard that trainer was endorsed by Leon himself. Yeah, that's right, ladies. I just can't seem to catch a Galarian Meowth. If you got a Galarian Meowth, want to trade for my Meowth? Aw, uh, nah. I only got the one. Sorry. You're a gym challenger, right? I'll remember your name if you can receive a grass badge. I heard that trainer is Hop's rival. <laughs> oh, are you selling clothes out here? Welcome to the uniform shop. Are you looking... You can customize your uniform? Hello? Are you kidding? Oh, that ghost uniform looking sick, though. Okay. I just want to point out that I've been wandering around trying various things for like the last 20 fucking minutes because this bitch says, oh, I'll sell you a different looking uniform, and then they don't give you a way to put that on during gym challenges. I literally looked it up online just to see if I was going crazy or something and just missing something stupid. No, there is no way to change your uniform during these gym missions. So this bitch is just selling regular fashion. Why don't you just have your own fucking fashion shop? Why don't you explain, hey, you can buy these uniforms, but you can't wear them during gym missions, so I don't waste my fucking money. That's bullshit. Alright? That's just fucking bullshit. They better be fucking glad that they weren't charging, like, real money. Like, they, like if that was, like, a, a microtransaction, people would be pissed. Like, I'm mad, and, it, and it's, it's in-game currency. Like... That's some bullshit. Alright. The mission given by Turfield's Pokemon Gym is this. To chase our unruly Wooloo to that blockade that we made from Bales of Straw over there. Now, let the gym mission begin. Alright, so I have to get the Wooloo to knock the blockade down. Sounds easy enough. Hey, what's up, Wooloo? Yeah, that's right. Get rolling. Get rolling. Come here. Get over there. Oh boy, I got all 20 of them over there. <laughs> and then they just roll right in. Freaking Yamper. Funny thing about Yamper. I was involved 
in a project where we were going to be doing a ROM hack, and it was going to be based based on Britain. So I was going to design a Corgi Pokemon for it, and I did actually. Uh, and uh, mine was a grass type, if anybody's curious. But uh, the uh, when I when I started doing research on Corgis. One of the interesting facts about them is that they are not good at herding sheep. Like, they use them for herding cattle, but when they tried to have them herd sheep instead, they were terrible at it. So her, so that's why you have, like, the, the English sheepdog and, and stuff like that, because the corgi is not good at herding sheep. <laughs> so they keep putting Yamper in these situations where it's supposed to be able to herd Wulu, and it's like, that's, that's not something it's good at. You know? As expected, the Gym Challenger and their Pokemon are in perfect sync with each other. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, Grass Boy. Why does he get to have a Grass Uniform, huh? I don't get to change mine. Alright, move. Why are you... Yeah, Bert! Get out of here. Kick the puppy. Kick the puppy. Yamper are not good at herding sheep. Why 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 are you letting that Yamper control you? Corgis are not sheep herders. They're cattle herders. I wonder if your Pokemon want to use their moves with all their strength and feel great. I mean, whatever. I mean, I suppose it's a fantasy universe and you can make them do whatever you want, but. Corgis do not make good sheep herding dogs, uh, from from what I understand, like from the research that I've done. I'm sure there's somebody out there who's like, oh, I use Corgi to herd my sheep, but they're fine. It's like, yeah, but they probably don't have internet access to watch this. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's hard not to have internet access. You have to really kind of make an effort to get away from civilization these days. To not have internet. I'll give a bow wark instead of yamper. Yeah, get out of here. Just being in my way. Listen, you. Frickin' Yampers. Just ignore the Yampers. Okay, they're not scary. It's a Yamper. Stupid Wooloos, go back the other way. No, 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 no. Why do I have to herd sheep like an animal? This is stupid. Stop barking, you dumb mutt! Kick the puppy! Kick the puppy! Kick the puppy! If you can't kick the Yamper or get it out of the way somehow, it shouldn't be able to stop you from doing... Really? Really, Sheep? Yamper is my least favorite Pokemon already. Or the gym leader lies just ahead of you, but that doesn't mean you'll be reaching him. Because we've got Yampers to stop you from hurting Sheep. These Yampers are pissing me off. If this were a real world situation and I was trying to herd sheep and there was and there was just some random dog getting in the way, I'd kick a dog. That's what I'd be doing. I'd be kicking the dog and getting it out of the way. Just saying. It's like if you are not gonna help me, then you are just a problem. I'd at least be calling somebody to get that dog out of my way. It's like, is this your dog? Get it the hell out of my way. Is this a stray dog? Take it to the frickin' pound. Get it out of here. Next is the gym leader, right? What a strong challenger. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys are terrible. Oh, uh, oh, is that how you get rid of the Yamper? Just ha just just beat her and they'll stand right next to her? What a load of garbage. Explain that first next time. It's so freaking irritating. <laughs> Look at this sheep. Go! Gym mission cleared. Yeah, this gym, this quote-unquote gym mission has just sat there and pissed me off. That's all there is to it. All right, now I get to walk out there in my plain-ass ordinary uniform. Oh, wow, they, they really got everybody together. Do these people just sit in the stadium all day waiting for kids to come through and, and get thrashed by the gym leader? Or, or thrash the gym leader? Depending on how the battle goes, like, or does or or does he or does he send out a tweet every time that every time somebody clears the gym challenge? Yeah. <laughs> My gym's the first one people face, so we get a lot of challengers. That's why I try to keep the gym mission challenging, but that doesn't stop you from completing it, even though I put yampers in the way. Proper job. Seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is going to be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I want to win. <laughs> you are annoying. A. That music? A. All right. Calm down. Gossifleur. I like how the battle just starts. Like, there's no transition. Do you seriously think I haven't Dynamaxed anything yet? Dynamax the stuffing out of him. Tough as weeds. Get it. Go ahead, Dynamax your poke. Do it. Come on, then. It's Dynamax time. You're about to be uprooted. Love how cinematic these battles are. already got the sun up, dude. You're about to get so wrecked. I like how he's got a level 20 Pokemon and he's the first freaking gym leader. Max Flare! It's just an Oko. That's all. What'd you even Dynamax for? out here. <laughs> Thanks for the extra experience for the Dynamax, I guess. Oh my gosh. Yes, Yamper needs Spark. It's a terrible Pokemon. I'm about to take mine off my team. Like, it's literally a placeholder. Seriously. I'm not using that dumb thing the whole time. This gym has literally made me hate Yamper. Power of Grass is wilted. What an incredible gym challenger. That 
must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. As proof that you've defeated a gym leader for the gym challenge, allow me to present you with your very own grass badge. It's just the grass badge. Oh, they all fit together? Oh! Oh, that's really cool. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 25. Uh, my previous limit was 20. You increased by five stupid levels. Really? Really? You need to obtain all eight gym badges in order to complete the gym challenge. And the only way to gather the badges is to defeat every gym leader. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Most sincere congratulations on defeating gym leader M Milo. Milo, whatever his name is. Please accept this TM to commemorate your victory. Magical Leaf. That's a TM now. That's replacing Hidden Power. Alright, yeah. Here, you can have Mi uh, Milo's uniform to go with it. It's a replica, of course. Got a grass uniform. Which I still can't wear into battles! So advice for you, Hunger. The gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. So that means your next stop should be in Holberry to meet Nessa. Holberry's just beyond Route 5. Holberry? Holberry? Alright. Or, since you've got the grass badge, you could head to the wild area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that are high level than the Pokemon on your team. But they make powerful allies if you succeed. I need to speak with our Lord and Savior, Ball Guy. This person... I can't believe Milo lost. A Wooloo escaping from Turfield Stadium with my and Milo leisurely chasing after it. Nothing out of the ordinary around here. Alright, everybody. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. That first gym experience really did piss me off. Uh, just... First, it was the uniform thing, not being able to like they they sell you they sell you these uniforms and then they tell you you can't equip them. Like that's bullshit. And then you know, and then they give you one when you're done, which you still can't equip. <laughs> like, like you could go to the to the to the fashion shops and put them on, but as far as I know, it's still just automatically changes you back into your shitty regular uniform when you go in the thing. So what's the point of buying a new one? Like, just so you can wear a uniform all the damn time? Who cares? Anyway. And you can wear your regular uniform out all the all, all the time if you want to, but that's just dumb. Anyway. Maybe they were originally planning on letting you wear your uniform out there and they just ran out of time? I don't know. It seems stupid to me. But, you know, I mean, I mean they like I said, they look cool. I guess there are people who'd like to wear them as just regular fashion accessories, but it sucks that you can't wear them out into the gym challenges. If anybody knows a way to do that, let me know. But like I said, I looked it up online, uh, and, and it, it was like, no, you can't do it. So, if they're wrong, they're wrong. You know, you can't always believe everything you read on the internet. But, uh, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. I believe we should be able to take on uh, Nessa next time, so look forward to that. And as always, I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.